as you know, it is very difficult to get the arm start moving after the stroke. You may be able to see someone that walks pretty fast, very, relatively faster, but it takes much longer time for the arm to move when someone had a stroke. There are several reasons for that. Number one, we use both legs to walk, but someone with difficulty moving the arm, they can always choose the good arm to, to do things that they have to do. You cannot just walk with one leg. They have to, they are forced to use both legs to walk. Number two, the upper extremity has the flexor synergy and the lower extremity or the leg has the extensor synergy. Synergy means everything moves in the same pattern and that's actually helpful for someone to start walking because they have to extend their knee, extend their hip to be able to stand, to be able to walk. But the hand with the flexor synergy, it's very difficult to reach out forward, reach up, and reach to the side. The most they can do is probably just like bring up to this level. When they walk, they bring the leg forward, the hands goes with it. So you're gonna see the pattern for movement. When someone had a stroke, it's always this way. It's very difficult for someone to move the arm and the leg in the opposite direction for them to go like this. That's extremely difficult. For someone to bring the arm forward, shoulder in flexion, but elbow in extension, forearms pronation, that's a, that's a lot for someone with a stroke. Number three, the leg or the lower extremity is considered the gross motor and the upper extremity or the hand is fine motor. We use our hand to do a lot more complicated tasks in our daily activities. So it takes more training, takes more skills to to be able to open the hand, to be able to pinch, to be able to do different kind of gestures. So all these are very, very difficult for someone who has a stroke.